Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on embryonic development. This is part 1. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 1. 7 weeks after the conception, the growing structure inside a uterus is called Option A. Zygote B. Embryo C. Fetus D. Neonate Right answer is Option B. Embryo Conception to 8 weeks of gestation, it is called embryo and after 8 weeks to delivery, it is called fetus and birth to 4 weeks, that is 28 days, it is called neonate and after 4 weeks to 1 year, it is called infant. Next question. After ovulation, graphene follicle becomes Option A. Corpus luteum B. Placenta C. Umbilical cord D. Amnion and chorion Right answer is Option A. Corpus luteum During ovulatory phase Luteinizing hormone induces rupturing of graphene follicle and during secretory phase, empty graphene follicle changes into corpus luteum. Next question. The process of maturation of the female egg is termed as Option A. Spermatogenesis B. Ozenesis C. Archaeogenesis D. None of the above Right answer is Option B. Ozenesis The process of maturation of female egg is called Ozenesis Ozenesis occurs in a woman's ovaries and is a process where a primary egg cell matures into secondary egg cell. At puberty, hormones trigger the ovaries to select a primary egg cell and mature it so that it may be fertilized upon its release from the ovary. Next question. What is the site of fertilization in female reproductive system? Option A. Ovary B. Cervix C. Uterus D. Fallopian tube Right answer is Option D. Fallopian tube Fertilization occurs at the ampullary part of fallopian tube. Next question. What is the remnant of ligamentum teres? Option A. Hypogastric arteries B. Umbilical vein C. Ductus venosus D. Ductus arteriosus Right answer is option B. Umbilical vein The ligamentum teres is the remnant of umbilical vein. Next question Neural tube develops from Option A. Ectoderm B. Endoderm C. Mesoderm 
D all of the above. Right answer is option A ectoderm. The neural tube develops from ectoderm at a very early stage. Next question. Placenta secretes all of the following hormones except Option A. Estrogen B. Luteinizing hormone C. Progesterone D. Human chorionic gonadotropin Right answer is Option B. Luteinizing hormone Luteinizing hormone is produced by gonadotropic cells in the anterior pituitary gland. All other hormones are secreted by placenta. Next question. HCG can be detected in blood after conception as early as Option A. 2 days B. 4 days C. 9 days D. 15 days Right answer is option C. 9 days Human chorionic gonadotropin HCG can be detected in blood after conception as early as 9 days. Blood tests are slightly more sensitive than urine tests because they can detect very small levels of HCG. Next question. Endometrium after conception is known as Option A. Perimetrium B. Myometrium C. Decidua D. Prometrium Right answer is Option C. Decidua Andrometrium after conception is called decidua. It will set following delivery. Next question. Which hormone is responsible for ovulation? Option A. FSH that is follicle stimulating hormone. BLH luteinizing hormone C estrogen D progesterone Right answer is option B LH luteinizing hormone Luteinizing hormone is a hormone Produced by gonadotropic cells in the anterior pituitary gland. In females, an acute rise of LH triggers ovulation and development of the corpus luteum. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, is responsible for follicle maturation. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.